Hello everyone. Welcome to VLSI Drilling Channel. Here we help you all VLSI aspirants by providing various kinds of questions asked in interviews along with their detailed solutions. Don't miss any question for your preparation by subscribing to our channel. So, get ready for today's question. Write a code to generate clock of 10 megahertz using Verilog. So, how will you start? Clock is basically 1010 bit streams. Its value gets toggled every time. So, we write in Verilog always hash d clock equal to not of clock what's the value d here and why we have used always so d is the delay which we have to decide by seeing what's the frequency of clock we need to generate always we have used because because clock needs to get toggled every time so how to decide this value for this we need to specify time unit for that we should use time scale compiler directive it's written as tick time scale time unit slash time precision in the example shown we have taken 1 nanosecond as time unit with a time precision of 10 picoseconds in the question it's being asked to generate 10 megahertz clock so the time period becomes 1 divided by 10m that's equal to 0.1 microsecond or 100 nanosecond for this time period the clock needs to toggle every 50 nanoseconds time period divided by 2 so our verilog code becomes always hash 50 clock equal to not of clock the time unit is nanosecond so hash 50 shows 50 nanoseconds now let us take help of eda playground to check if our clock is generating correctly or not so this is the design part where we have simply passed clock as an input and this is the test bench part which is basically verifying the design code in the test bench part we are generating the clock for this so we have used time scale compiler directive with 1 nanosecond time unit and 10 picosecond precision time then this is for connecting with the dut this is where we are toggling clock's value every 50 nanoseconds this initial block is for telling the simulator that after 200 nanoseconds please finish the simulation otherwise it, it will keep running for infinity this initial end block is for eda playground purpose now let us run the simulation so here we see the clock that is generated with our test bench code if we put cursor here it shows 50000 picosecond that's equal to 50 nanosecond and the clock ends here it's 150 nanosecond so 150 minus 50 100 nanosecond which we had calculated the time period for 10 megahertz clock 